a host of big-name stars have thrown their support behind anti-gun protests in America. Sir Paul McCartney, Miley Cyrus and George and Emil Clooney are just some of the celebrities to turn up at the March for Our Lives demonstrations in Washington, D.C. and across America today. There are among the half a million people expected to march through the Capitol calling for tighter gun laws. Singer Miley joined the protests. Posing up for a picture with her mum Tish and sisters Brandy and Noah, she wrote on Instagram, surrounded by heroines. Lucky to be here at this moment in history with the ones I love. Sir Paul joined the protests and visited the very site in New York where his Beatles bandmate and friend John Lennon was shot dead in December 1980. Quoting him, an American journalist took to Twitter to share Sir Paul's words. While marching through Central Park, he said, one of my best friends was killed by gun violence right around here. Also pictured attending events across the states were tennis star Billie Jean King, singer Halsey, actor Ben Platt, acting legend Glenn Close, music superstar Cher, late show host Jimmy Fallon and basketball player Dennis Rodman. Many others showed their support online by sharing pictures of the March for Our Lives logo. Selena Gomez wrote, Protect kids, not guns. Hash March for Our Lives. And Kim Kardashian said, So ready to march today. At her March for Our Lives at every town. Green Day bassist Mike Durnt wrote in a post, Young, smart and determined. Hash March for a lives hash enough. Fifth Harmony star Ally Brooke said, I think about my little cousins, my future children, and all the children across the country. I think of their safety, and their precious lives. I am so proud to support the students of today. We must do everything we can to protect them. Hash march for our lives. Hash never again. Demi Lovato posted, Today is the day, let your voices be heard. Hash march for a lives. Actor Jim Carrey also posted about the protests. He said on Twitter, Today our nation's youth are demanding their basic human right to go to school without dying in the name of greed. It's time for Congress to act like adults worthy of their office. Pass tough for gun laws. Ban the AR-15. Stop taking NRA blood money. Enough is enough. Hash never again. The March for Our Lives protests are being orchestrated by survivors of the rampage at Marjorie Stoneham and Douglas High School which left 17 dead, and are aimed at breaking through a legislative gridlock that has long stymied efforts to tighten firearms controls.